Tanya and Terrell school leaders say Bob Gillen worked here at the school since 1996. Students and staff coming here this morning with heavy hearts. This morning, these flowers adorn the entrance to the athletic training room inside Wakanda High School. After teaching all day long, he would come in here and put in four, five, six, seven hours, depending on what we would have going on. It's now an empty room, echoing the pain of the students and faculty as they grapple with the unwanted reality that a beloved teacher will never walk through these doors again. If he was just a, a caring, dedicated, just an employee that it meant so much to the school and the school community. Police say 53 year old Bob Gillen was killed early Sunday morning in a crash in Wheeling. According to investigators, a suspected drunk driver was traveling with a passenger on East Palatine Road near Wheeling Road when they drove into the wrong lane of traffic, hitting Gillen's vehicle head on. School leaders say Gillen's wife was also in the car. Police tell us she sustained serious injuries while her husband, Gillen, died at the sea. It had a huge impact uh, on our kids who are here in the building right now, uh, but our other our kids, older brothers and sisters, and to some extent our kids' parents. His death, a tremendous loss for the school he taught at for more than 27 years as a math teacher and athletic trainer. Now only memories of Gillen are left in this room, but his colleagues say they promise to make sure they never fade away. He's a great guy, he'll be dearly missed, but he would want us to move forward and continue to support the student athletes and students here at Wakanda. And grief counselors will be made available here throughout the day. This is while we are still waiting to hear back from Wheeling Police on whether or not charges will be filed. Tanya Terrell, back to you. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.